Howdy, everyone. Um, if you'll remember last week, I posted on the Facebook groups um, that I was going to have some free time this week. And what did you want me to show you? And I had a request for the um, foil quill from We Are Memory Keepers. So let's do that. So when you buy the bundle, you get a lot of things. And more important, most importantly, there's three quills. And you can look at them, and I don't know if you can see that little tiny leaf right there. They both have them. This one's probably easier to see, or they all three have them. Let me take this off. So there's the... So that's how you can tell if you've got... Um, this one's really thin, so I would say that that is the fine point. No, I'm gonna say this one is the fine point. This one is regular, and then this one is bold. So we're gonna start with the fine point one. And the quill, it has to heat. So I gotta unplug it. And Oh, and it comes with these adapters for different machines. And um, I didn't pull those out because I only have a Cricut, but the adapter C for Cricut, you just screw it onto your quill and it'll go in your pin compartment in your machine. Now, while I do this, I want to point out that Cricut does not support or endorse this product. In fact, they said it could void your warranty because they have not tested the effects of the heat on the platform of the machine. And speaking of the heat, I seem to have lost my heat shield in this mess of what I do. So, oh, there it is. So it also comes with this little heat shield. I'm not worried about um, avoiding the warranty on my machine because my machine's already out of warranty. So um, I'm gonna use it, I have been using it, and I haven't had any problems. So I'm gonna move the camera. Hopefully I don't jiggle it too much. So you can see um, my machine. And I'm just going to push my finger under here and pop out the pen adapter that's in there. And then I'm going to pop, put the quill in. And I plugged it in to an external um, source so that, I mean, I don't know why, I just read that that's what you're supposed to do. You know, I know your maker has the USB port on the side, but I've read reports that it's just better to plug it into an external source. So I did that. So you can see it's lighted up. It's getting power and it's heating. And I have the heat shield under here to protect my machine. <sighs> so while that does that, I've already got, um, I just picked an S off of the split monogram cartridge and I'm gonna do that. I don't have an S, but it'll look pretty. I mean, I don't have a need for an S. So what I did so that we can demonstrate all three of the adapters is I've cut three pieces of cardstock, just scrap cardstock that I had in my stash, and I cut them at three and a half by three and a half, and then I cut three pieces of foil to fit over the top of that. Now I'm going to move the camera back to my mat while this heats up. Oh, I had my camera all set for my desk, and then we used it to take Easter pictures. So it's all kind of wonky right now. But you'll see on my mat where I've done this before, um, I had residual foil left on my mat. So I have a dedicated mat for using my foil quilt because um, it, it will stick uh, stick to your mat. So, hang this up so I don't lose it in the mess that is my desk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of my cardstock down here in the bottom corner. You can't really see that. I'll try to move it up. And then I'm going to put a piece of the foil on top of that. Now it's not going to stay. So you're going to just use some tape. You could use washi tape. I just grabbed some painter's tape that I had sitting here on my desk. I don't need it to be that wide. So I'm going to just tear off some pieces and put it really close to the edge of your foil. 
because if your design goes where that where your tape is, it's not going to to foil. And you want it to be really smooth. So I've set my design at basically three by three. It's like 2.99999 and three. So that will fit in my three and a half by three and a half square. And I'm not even gonna try really hard to center it in there because we're just doing this so we can see the different um, sizes of the uh, quill. So as I'm taping this down, I'm just kind of dinking around waiting for this to, to heat up. I think it said to wait around 10 minutes. And I'm just really just taping this down so it doesn't move. And I'm going to tuck this under here. And you want this to be as smooth as possible. You don't want a lot of bubbles in it. Mine has some. It, it should be okay. So in Design Space, when you get your image, you're going to set it to draw. Um, it used to say right. Now it says draw in Design Space. And that tells it to use the pen adapter. And I don't have anything set to cut. But just, you know, you can do this if you want to be safe. Just take your blade out. So even if it goes to cut something, um, it won't it won't do that. And I had forgot to do that on my last video and someone reminded me. So good tip. And I had known to do that and I just, I wasn't thinking. So I don't know if this is hot enough yet. But um, let's go for it. I'm going to send this to my machine. I'm going to click on make it. Oh. And then, of course, as you know, it always comes to that top left corner. I need to draw, drop it down here to this bottom, bottom area. So I'm going to move it down. And I'm not showing you my design space mat because my virtual mat here because you all know it. And hopefully I'm not getting this into any of the tape areas. So let me see. I'm about three and a half. Well, I am three and a half. So, okay, so we're gonna, we're just gonna run with this and hopefully this quill is hot enough. And before I do that, I'm gonna tip this again so you can watch it. Stay, don't move. Okay, I'm gonna tell it to continue. I have to pick my machine. Oh, and I hit the wrong one. So you gotta hold on a minute. It's looking for a different machine I don't have plugged in right now. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same image three times with each of the different um, tips so we can see the difference. And oh, come on, it's still looking for this wrong machine. Boy, it's Monday, and Mondays are hectic in my house. It's not finding it, but I can't stop it. Quill's gonna definitely be hot enough now. And I just looked, um, like I think Friday, there we go, and the, um, the quills were still out of stock on scrapbook.com and Blitzy, but um, I will post links to those for when they do come back into stock. So I'm setting this to be on cardstock because it's on cardstock and it's ready to go. So we take out our heat shield, load our mat, and push go. I 
thinking about it. And you know, this heat shield is like totally cool. It didn't even get hot. If you haven't seen this, it is super cool. And that's why I did it on black, so I hope that it'll show up better. And I did the split monogram so you can see all the little swirlies. I didn't want to just do a, a simple letter. Like I said, I just picked S because that was the first one that came up. I don't have a need for a monogrammed S. So if someone does and wants this, give me a shout out. I'll mail them to you. We're about 61% done, and then you'll see the first. Like I said, this is the fine point. Um, as soon as the, the cut is done, or it's not even a cut, as soon as the quill is done, I'm going to, before we even take this off the mat, I am going to pop out the quill and put in the, the regular size one so it can start preheating while we uh, look at this one and set it up for the, to do it again. Okay, we should be done. So I'm gonna unload this. I'm gonna pop this one out. I'm gonna unplug it. And try not to destroy my desk. Then I'm going to um, just unscrew that adapter. Set it off to the side to cool and go to, to put it on the regular tip. I'm gonna plug it in and put in an arm, put it in the machine. And don't forget your heat shield goes underneath. Okay, so now I'm going to bring you back this way and try and tip you back. And then I'm just going to peel this off. I'm going to try and reuse our tape if I can for the next one. We have time. We're waiting for the next quill to heat up. These are so pretty. Okay, now the ones I folded over the back of the mat. I'm just gonna go like this. Well, I'm making a mess of that, but oy vey. All right, so here it is. Isn't that pretty? It's all shiny. And that is the fine point one. And now we're gonna set up for, I got tape everywhere. So now I'm just going to take another square of cardstock. You know, I've got a pen here. It's a gold metallic marker. And I'm just going to put on the back fine so that I know when I go back to these that this was the fine point blade. Or it's not a blade. Why do I keep calling it a blade? I can throw this one away. <clears throat> I 
put our next piece of foil on top. And see again, it, it uh, stuck my foil down to the mat. I'm gonna reuse some of this tape. It didn't really appear to move a whole lot, so my little taping job must have been good enough. So quiet in my house this week. I don't know what to do with myself. Now, because I haven't done anything in my design space software, I'm just going to be able to reload the mat and cut it again. Oh, it's not cut. I got to put it in cut and foil it again with it still being in the same location on the mat. It, it just, see, it's, well, you can't see it. It's still flashing. So if I just hit load and it'll go again. Hasn't been 10 minutes though. Does it really take 10 minutes? I don't know. Do we want to test it? What do you think? Let's go for it. So I'm taking out. Oh, I gotta move you. I forget. You can't move. So I have to remove our heat shield. And that's one thing, you know, that's why Cricut won't, um, or they can't endorse this product because they don't know how hot this gets if it will damage your platform below. So if it ends up damaging your platform, you for one, forgot your heat shield and Cricut will not warranty that. So just know that going in. But like I said, I'm not worried because I've, uh, my machine's out of warranty already, and I have my, you know, this is my maker. I don't want to ruin it, but if something was to happen, I do have my Explorers, but my maker is, is my baby. So I'm going to hope that this is hot enough, and we're just going to, we're going to try. So I hit for it to, to do it again, and away it goes. I remember when I got my very first Cricut, I used to just sit and watch it cut and I was fascinated by it. And now I'm, I'm doing that again with, with this foil quill. I think it's just so amazing that it can, it can do that. I will hope I didn't get my tape in the way. So many things. So yeah, like I said earlier, there is different attachments. If you have like a brother cut and scan or a silhouette or I don't know what the other one was, but there's, there's different attachments. The C is for Cricut. And it tells you on the on the packaging that comes with with it what what adapter goes to what machine. So you can use any any image you have in your design space. You just have to set it to write it or draw it instead of cut it. So okay, this is done. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before, because I'm not even going to touch this. I'm going to 
unload this quill and put the other one in so that it can start heating up. And this feels warm, so hopefully it was it was hot enough. And I just have an extension cord running up on my desk and it's kind of mounted on the back side, so it's always sitting there for me. Okay, so it's lit. Yep. And we'll come back to, remember this was the fine one. Oh, forgot my heat shield. We're going to come back to, to this while that heats up and remove the tape. You know, one thing I haven't played with on this, and maybe one of you guys know the answer. You know when you when you set in your in your design space the machine to write, you get the different pin options. I haven't played with that. So I wonder if it would look different, you know, you know, using different pin types, like the gel glitter pins versus a fine point pin. Does it give it more pressure? That I don't know. I haven't played with it yet. So there's this one. That's really sticky. So this is the regular tip, and that is the fine tip. So it is a little bit thicker. And I'm going to write regular on the back of this one. I just stuck it to my mat. And you can see where I had pushed down and got some of the foil on here. It just rubs right off. It doesn't stay because it wasn't, this will stay because it was heat done on. So there's the differences. Hopefully you can see it. I can see it really well here in uh, live in person, but I don't know if it's coming across that way with my light glares. Can you see that? Okay, so now I'll throw this one away. And then I have a last piece of cardstock for the bold tip. And a piece of foil. I'm really looking forward to having this at uh, Christmas for my Christmas cards. I think it's going to just be really a nice touch on those. All these little tiny pieces of tape. I'm just putting extra little pieces on here because we have time to kill. Um. Okay, so I'm going to hit pause and then I'll come back before I stick it in the machine because it hasn't been 10 minutes and I want to make sure we get a good, um, good impression. So we'll be right back. Okay, it has been, I think, 10 minutes. Um, <clears throat> I didn't time it, but I think we're ready to go. So let me move you back over here. And I gotta remove our heat shield. And you know, that's not even hot at all when I take it out of there. So I'm not worried 
about it melting my machine at all. Sixty one per cent. Okay, it says it's done. Now, I'm going to throw that in there because we're not moving on to another. There's only the three. So come back over here with me, guys. Get you straight. Okay, let's see what we have. I should use tweezers for this. And I'm gonna, since this was the last one, I'm gonna not save my tape. So the painter's tape or washi tape, that's not gonna ruin your mat at all. So something to just think about if you ever need to tape something down to your mat. on your mat as soon as you're done with it. I didn't get it on straight, but we'll come back to it. So there's the bold. There's the fine and the regular. So the bold, it's just a little bit thicker each time. So we have fine, regular, and bold. So those are really pretty. So that is the foil quill. It's that easy to use. And I um, hope this answered any questions you had about them. As always, you can um, message me here on YouTube or in my blog, which is Lori's Scrappy Bunch blogspot.com. L O R I S S C R A P P Y B U N C H dot blogspot.com. And of course, the Facebook groups. So if you're not a member of those, go ahead and join. If you're not following me on my blog, please do. And if you're not following me here on YouTube, then please follow me here as well so that you can always be informed when I post new videos and projects. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I will put links on where you can get the foil quill when it is back in stock right below um, this video. So have a nice night, everybody.